said you're a pussy. <sighs> He's dated bears with better breath than you. Interpreters. They are some of the most dangerous, talented, badass people that you should be afraid of. They're some of the most dangerous people on the planet. Don't believe me? You're going to want to listen to this to the end. If you speak more than one language, you're probably going to want to hear this out because you might be seeing some new potential by the end of this clip that you never even realized. And if you only speak one language, well, by the end of this, maybe you want to learn another one. Um, anyway, I've been in the interpreting game uh, for a long time, especially in the earlier part of my career. Uh, I've been for several years in the past on the official Miss Universe interpreters team, and those guys are the bomb. Uh, traveling all over the world with uh, the Miss Universe pageant, Donald Trump. Um, and I've been working for UN agencies, governments, court interpreting, simultaneous consecutive interpreting, uh, conference interpreting, you name it. I've done it. I've trained it. And... I can tell you, there are some things that happen in the brain when you're interpreting that just are happening on a different level. Uh, your brain goes into a different mode and I don't even know how it happens, but your brain functions differently. Uh, if you want to learn how to do that, come to Minecraft. But anyway, that's not the point of this. What I wanted to um, share with you is why interpreters are dangerous. And if you're an interpreter, um, how you can realize some new potential and even a new career or new revenue streams. Number one, as an interpreter, you have access to some of the top, top people on the planet, hands down. Um, heads of state, the most brilliant people in their fields, they're the ones that they hire interpreters for. They're the ones that you're going to be meeting and learning from. And so... Each time that you do an interpreting gig, uh, especially one of these high level things, you're getting access to people and information that people, other people out there just don't get. In doing that, you get superior information, better information than what any education might be able to provide you. And not only that, you actually get to see the inner workings of how things work, whether it be governments, whether it be UN agencies, whether it be pharmaceutical companies. Um, I have worked um, for all of these ones and each time that I've done one of these gigs, I've just been blown away from what I've learned. So that's number one, the people that you have access to interpreting and the level of information that you're getting is just, you can't compare. And it's usually not accessible by anyone, but as an interpreter, you get access to it. Now, the second point is that interpreters control a message. And whether it's the interpreter at Mandela's funeral uh, or, OK, that was a bit tongue in cheek in the beginning with Trump, but it's not far off the mark. Imagine this uh, Miss Universe contest and you're in there. The country's state fate is in the interpreter's hands for some people and how they choose to interpret it by the time the pageant's over okay people are going to maybe say that's not what he said but you have a lot weighing on your shoulders a court case the words of interpreter could put somebody in prison for life or the way that it's portrayed just the selection of words so there is a lot of power in um the role of an interpreter and you might think in the west that interpreters, they need to go by a code of ethics or any of this. But as you get out of that, interpreters can also be super dangerous. You don't want to get an interpreter with you offside um, with you, especially if you're in a country you know, across Asia or whatever, because they can really screw you up if they want to. No matter what you say, um, the message is always going to be filtered through them. It's not unlike um, you saw this anom. Uh, bust by the FBI and Australia's uh, AFP recently, where they actually um, were dealing encrypted devices to all the gangs around the world where they thought they were encrypted and nobody knew what they were saying, but actually they could hear everything and control even the messages. Well, an interpreter kind of plays that role. You are the message to the top. And so finally, what gets into the ear of the person that's making the decisions is that message coming from the interpreter. And so while you, you will be working by a code of ethics in the West, just realize that in other places, those codes of ethics don't um, apply. And so that person can do you a lot of damage if they don't like you. Now, this is where it starts to change gears a bit. 
Um, as an interpreter working for governments, for government officials, heads of state, uh, UN agencies traveling all over the world, one scary thing happens is that as you're interpreting for these guys and you're listening to them, you're thinking, you're president? You're the CEO? You think, how the f could you even, could this happen? You're not smart enough to do that. And okay, there are some people who have earned it, but oh my God, some of the people that you realize are running the planet are complete idiots. And that actually had a profound effect on me early on. As I realized this, a combination of me thinking, holy crap, I'm getting an amazing education here, whether it's pharmaceuticals, whether it's aerospace, whether it's in government, in political science, whether it's in oil and gas, I learned it all um, from these people. But then I was seeing how decisions were being made by some total idiots. And I thought, well, wait a minute, I'm not just going to be an interpreter. I could actually learn this. I get it. I understand it. And that is where the power is. And so this is where we're going to shift gears. Start off as an interpreter. And that's great. You'll be making it, but you're only going to be considered as an interpreter. Learn from that experience. Now, you're going to have NDAs signed and everything. So I'm not saying steal information, but learn. Start to become... Uh, topic specialists. You, uh, you start to understand deeply, read up, learn. Once you're building this network of people and you have some of the highest level people in the industry that you're building networks with, um, learn from them, befriend them, start to find out what makes it tick, what's running the industry and research. Get your own knowledge about those industries from all different areas. Believe it or not, those people soon are going to want to learn from you because you have access to other people that they don't. And this is what I found over the years. Um, rather than just being an interpreter, I started to go out and learn. And that coupled, now this is the key, with other hard skills. So I became a facilitator. I was a Dale Carnegie facilitator and came out. So I had facilitation skills. Um, I was able to teach. I can code and collect data. So I have uh, open source intelligence gathering skills and an analysis skills. Putting all those together with the knowledge that you get that is a superior knowledge because it's coming from the people who actually run the planet. Um, it puts you in a very good position in the business world. Not saying you're going to sell information that's uh, proprietary or that you signed an NDA to, but you start to learn stuff. And this is what I did um, to the point that companies like Pepsi trained me up rather than just interpreting for their facilitators. I got trained up in running their modern trade, their sales training, their negotiation training. Um, modern trade companies like Tesco, they knew that Pepsi was working with me too. And so then I start training their leadership programs rather than just being an interpreter for facilitators, uh, working for oil and gas rather than going in and just being an interpreter for um, some facilitator or some kind of guy going in to do investigations on health and safety issues. I got trained up in behavioral safety so I could actually go in and run training and work out what's going on on the ground. And I tell you what, the rate that you get for a facilitator or a consultant on the ground is a lot different when you compare that to the rate that an interpreter is going to get. So start off as an interpreter, build the networks, but those networks, your ability to communicate in the local language, um, along with some hard skills that you can develop up, it makes you a power to be reckoned with in the business world. Don't just be content being an interpreter for the rest of your life. It's a stepping stone into something much bigger. And I believe interpreters ultimately can rule the world. Uh, I'm biased, but seriously, because you have this communication power to be able to speak into the hearts of people that these other people just don't have. All you need is some understanding and some um, hard skills maybe to couple that. But there's no reason why you have to lock yourself in as a CIA analyst or you're a UN interpreter. Yeah, that's great. And it's nice. And you can get your nine to five job. But if you really want to push some boundaries in and, and see some things that are going to blow you away and blow people away, um, push out of that and start to forge your own roles. And you will see that companies are going to see your value and they're going to pay for that value. 
um, in the market, whether it, you help negotiate deals, you help source out people because you're building networks, you know the people they need to know so you can help broker deals. You can help source the people that they need to meet and take a commission on the deals that you make for them. And so you can see that um, interpreters can actually be some of the most dangerous people on the planet, not only because they know stuff, but they can actually take your position. They know, they know the stuff that you know, and they speak the language. They can speak with the people that you need to speak to. And so eventually they can actually, if they've got a bit of nous and, and drive, they can actually go below, beyond that uh, interpreter role and do something really profound in uh, different industries. Now, I know that might scare some people too. If you're hiring people, you don't want people to start to realize the potential. Just stay there, be an employee, be an interpreter. But I tell you what, as an interpreter, a lot of interpreters don't realize the potential that they really have in them. And they, yeah, they might enjoy their careers as that, but seriously, there is so, so much more. And I believe that business actually needs you. Just look at Google's globe internationalization of products and things. You can tell that it's been done by people that don't understand languages or cultures, and it's so frustrating. Business needs people that know languages, that understand cultures and understand the people that use these services, not just run by a bunch of monoglots sitting in head office in Western countries. Anyway, that's all I'm going to say for this. Interpreters are badass. Interpreters are dangerous and they should worry you. You should be afraid of them. If you are uh, uh, an interpreter or you speak multiple languages, you have the power. Go out and use it. I'm Stuart J. Raj. Don't forget to like, subscribe, come into the Minecraft Discord server, subscribe to Minecraft, buy the merch, shop.jacademy.com. Come in and uh, we're going to have a blast. We'll teach you how to do all of this stuff. I'll see you on the other side. Bye. Thank you.